Welcome to the Pain Tech Bite Size Reviews. This one for the Arduino Leonardo. This is a 16 megahertz chip on in, it's a slightly different chip to the Uno. It's actually a very similar form factor to the Uno, but it's actually a little bit different in quite a few ways. Um, in particular, it has a very different chip on board, Atmega 32U4 on board instead of the Atmega 328. It runs at 16 megahertz, which is the same as the Uno. Um, at 5 volts, same power requirements, 7 to 12 volts. It's got um, built-in little U DC socket here, or you can run it via the USB. USB type is a micro type B, so it's a very, very small USB port. It will automatically change over between those power sources. Um, recommended is 7 to 12 volts as your incoming supply power. It will just about get by on between 6 and 20 volts DC. You're going to make some sacrifices in stability or capability in some respects. So I recommend sticking between 7 to 12 volts. Um, it has 23 digital pins, uh, which is more than the UNO. Um, seven of which can do PWM, again, a little bit more than the UNO. Uh, software internal resistors, um, uh, pull-ups, so you can uh, trigger that via your code if you need to, if you're connecting up switches, for example. And 12 analog inputs, of which two are dedicated and 10 are shared. Um, as opposed to the UNO, which uh, only has six shared analog inputs. So there, there's a lot more pin availability from this, from the Leonardo over the UNO in the same form factor, essentially. Um, interrupt pins available again, more, five, um, five interrupt pins available. Um, apart from that, RAM memory wise, you've got the same amount of sketch RAM at 32 kilobytes and a little bit more program memory. You've got 2.5 kilobytes from the Leonardo rather than two on the UNO. And EEPROM, uh, as with most of these products, is one kilobyte emulated. Um, USB chip on the Leonardo is done by the main CPU rather than on the UNO, you've actually got a ded dedicated USB chip. This can be leveraged um, to emulate other USB form fact, uh, devices such as MIDI and that sort of thing. So there's a there's a Tionardu which allows you to load um, TNC uh, bootloader um, and USB emulation onto the Leonardo and so you can create very easily USB devices that sort of thing. Um, micro type B USB port we've already covered with 500 milliamps of overcurrent protection. It has a USB serial and a UART TTL 5 volt serial. I squared C on pins 2 and 3. Uh, SPI via the ICSP header right here. And um, it is 68.6 uh, mil by 53.3 mil, which is exactly the same as the UNO. And it's got the same size. It's a, it's a Leonardo R3, this particular one. And it's it's got fairly good um, shield compatibility with UNO shields. Um, there are some little pinout differences that you might need to take into account, so please do check before you buy a shield for the Leonardo. Make sure that you're going to be able to make it work. Um, it won't work with everything. So if you're thinking of making an Arduino product uh, purchase, excuse me, um, please consider going over to paintech.co.uk to make your next purchase. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next time.